and come on in. Hi friends, I'm Sarah from Budget Girl and welcome to my first home tour. I did a video just a little while back, a few months ago, I just purchased this home. It is a $230,000 duplex in College Station, Texas, and it is the very first home that I am owning. And I'm actually in the side that I am living in, also called house hacking. I'm currently on my side of the unit. I have a renter on the other, so we're not gonna go over there, but I'm happy to show you what my place looks like having lived here for a little over two months. So it's not done, it's not perfect, but this is where we're at, so come on in. So before we moved in, I first came and did a little bit of renovation. We replaced the tile floors. There were multiple different types of tile, and I thought it would be really worth it to replace it with this nice hardwood vinyl plank. And I also painted everything. There were a lot of door frames and doors that were like a yellow, and the whole thing needed a fresh coat of paint. So mostly I did white and this green. So this is all our stuff. This is the living room. I feel like it looks a lot bigger, brighter, and better. It's a very cozy place. We have tons of space in here, as you can see, for dining and lounging. And it's been a really nice place to live so far. I really love it. Let's go into the very first bedroom, which is actually my budget girl office. So this is my office. It is definitely not completed. But if you've been watching my channel, you might have seen me film a few videos in here. So still under construction, but I really like having my own dedicated space. It's also really nice because I work at home two days a week because of coronavirus and social distancing. So it's been really great to have my very own space to kind of get away and work mode. This is our dining room area. I really like it. We do a lot of projects on this table. And one thing that might look a little not aesthetic or weird, this is actually all of my concrete pot making supplies, uh, but there's a 50 pound bag of concrete in there, so I'm not gonna drag it to a closet and from a closet every single time I wanna use it. So it just lives there close to where I do the pots. You may have noticed if you've been on my channel for a while that I love plants and this Monstera is absolutely thriving here. I love it. It's kind of so big, don't you think? And because this is the only window in like the living room slash kitchen, most of my other plants are kind of around here and outside. When it gets really, really cold, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. But for right now, I think most of these are pretty happy in this really sunny spot. So if you watch the renovation series that I did, Duplex Diaries, and I'll link that whole playlist down below, you'll know that I had a really hard time doing this bathroom. There was a dark brown on the walls that was really hard to get through. And I was not a fan of this tile, but I think with some just kind of white paint and some light accessories, it turned out really nice. Let's head on into the master bedroom. So here's the master bedroom that I share with Jacob. It's actually not the master suite in the house. Uh, that's Jacob's office, you'll see that next. And we mostly did that because this room had the most options as far as layout for like a bed. We both wanted to have room on either side and be able to feel a little bit more comfortable and move around, so it works for us. I'm gonna check out my closet. Now, as this is a three bedroom house and we don't have kids, Jacob and I both have our own dedicated offices and of course this bedroom that we share. And another choice we made was to have separate closets. And it's not like a fighting thing, it's just there was room, so why not? So this is my closet and I get to organize it exactly the way I like. Um, all my shoes are back here and then uh, everything else. All right, let's move on to the kitchen. So this was the room in the house that really sold it for me. Obviously I bought these apartments in this duplex as a future rental, but the kitchen really, really sold me. This is the biggest kitchen I have ever had. Uh, we added this island here that's actually been with me since college. I got it for free and it's been my kitchen table. It's been uh, the only working surface in my kitchen before and now it's an island and I refinished it and it's really, really nice. I feel like it fills out the space and we use it a ton. I also had to get some new appliances when I moved in here. So I got this fridge, which is really, really nice. It's a 2018 fridge and we got it for about 800 bucks. Um, this is our meal planning board where we write down meals we're going to have so we can do grocery shopping and not have so much food waste. Um, today is actually Halloween, <laughs> so we're starting here and that's what we're having for the next week. Then over here is where we feed the dogs and do trash and stuff like that. And here is my coffee bar. It's uh, really fun to have kind of a, a little counter just for coffee, which was fun. This was also a coffee bar before, I forget. We also have a really nice amount of storage in here. This is our pantry. 
and I highly recommend using these over the door shoe organizers for little things like this and I have them on the back of basically every door that we have. And then this is kind of our, you see the dogs are getting excited because this is where all of their treats are. This is where we have extra stuff, our emergency prep, vacuum, uh, stuff like that. And back here, it probably seems like kind of a random little bookshelf that we didn't have any other place for it. And that is true, but it is also where I've been keeping the uh, concrete pots that I have been making as a new potential little side business that I'm getting to. I'll link that video below. And it's kind of out of the way, it works. And here is our laundry room. I will say one of the best improvements that we've done to this home is fixing these doors that used to swing. And that was a problem. It also made it really loud. So we had to buy New washer and dryer for this place. The previous owners took the previous ones. It was fine. I actually got these for about 200 bucks. Or how much was it? Like 250? Mm, something like that. Yeah, 200, 250 bucks off of Marketplace, and they work great. Still have some more storage space in here. All right, next let's go into Jacob's office. He does work 100% from home, and he also is a big gamer, so he does a lot of that in here. His office is really fun. So in here we have a couch that pulls out to a queen in case we ever have guests. We can just move that chair out of here and that will work. Jacob also has all of his Lego collectibles and stuff in here. Like I said, big gamer. And he's kind of created this whole little room to be like a cozy little cave vibe. So that's kind of fun. He's also kind of at the back of the house, away from some of the noise from next door and the rest of the world. So he just gets to kind of cozy in here with the dogs. As this was the uh, master suite, he also has a bathroom in here, which also I think works. So we just mostly use separate bathrooms, which if you live with uh, your husband or something, you know, will be very nice. Uh, unfortunately for Jacob, one thing I didn't do when I was painting was paint in here. So this is the same horrible gray and there are some patches on the walls and eventually we just need to get to this bathroom. But fortunately he's such a good sport. He doesn't seem to mind so much. So one day. And Jacob's closet is in here. All right, let's head on outside. And if you're just coming back to this video now from watching the day that I bought the house, you'll notice I changed out the door and I actually got this door for free, which I will not shut up about because that was really fun. Okay, <laughs> so the backyard is definitely still a work in progress, same as the rest of the house. But what we've done out here is uh, kind of made a pathway to the shed and you saw in one of the vlog videos potentially that I tried to fix and level all this ground and seed it and I just haven't had the best luck with it yet. I'm gonna need some help and I'm probably gonna have to install a French drain for when it rains, but it'll get there eventually. This is our shed because I'm open and honest with you guys here. It needs uh, some organization and some work. I've tried a little bit, but once again, this is progress. This is how we're living. All right, the rest of the yard does not look too different. We did get a little dog house. Um, I actually got it for a really screaming deal on a clearance at PetSmart. It was the last one in the box was the image. It was only about $60. The dogs completely ignore its presence, so potentially that was a waste of $60, but at least I didn't pay more. And then over here, this is eventually going to be a greenhouse that Jacob is making me, and I am really excited about it. So stay tuned for the result of that. And uh, once again, a little bit messy, but this is just real life. This is the way all of my plants are right now. I have some of the planters that I've made. These are going to be Christmas presents. So a lot of stuff just unfinished, but it's fine. <laughs> I also need to paint this door. And while we're pointing it out, I never finished the uh, very back second coat of the kitchen painting. So uh, we'll get there too. All right, so thank you guys very much for coming and uh, checking out my home. I might do another home tour video when it's all finished. You know, all the art is up. For instance, I haven't figured out quite what to do with this whole area yet. And I wanna make some sort of entryway, like coat hang situation. And I also wanna get a different media console. I, I got this one really, really cheap and it just doesn't spark joy, but I'm being patient and waiting for the very perfect thing. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you subscribe to this channel and also hit the like button for 
more videos potentially like this and also about how to you know DIY our dime because almost everything in here and I mean almost everything is DIY upcycled bought secondhand and I feel like I've done a pretty good job at making it feel like home thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one bye